you know, it's real hard for me to do the story, but I'm going to attempt. Because our babies are growing up in war zones. And the car is being driven by infidels, riffraff, and people who are have no regard for life. Not even their own. Um, when you produce this kind of element in a society, you know, it's nothing but bad. Nothing but bad. Nothing good come out this type of stuff. And this story I'm about to read is about Sandra Parks, and I want y'all to know we got to protect our children at all costs. We cannot have these individuals running through our community, shooting up houses, bad aims, killing babies, shooting children who are innocent, who have nothing to do with your beat, who have nothing to do with your fucking nightmare of a life, of whatever, empty shell hole of it that it is. And y'all gonna have to start doing better. You gonna have to start making an example out of people that do stuff like this. That's what's got to happen. The hood's a graveyard, a straight up cemetery, full of walking corpses that talk habitually. Two men who've done time in prison for armed robbery were charged late Wednesday in the Monday night shooting that killed 13-year-old Sandra Parks inside her home. Isaac D. Barnes, 26, and Untrail Oden, 27, had each been arrested within hours of the shooting in a 2700 block of North 13th Street. Barnes faces counts of first-degree reckless homicide with a dangerous weapon endangering safety and being a felon with a gun. Odin is named in two counts of being a felon with a gun. I don't know if he's charged with first degree reckless homicide. <sighs> According to the criminal complaint, Bernice Parks told police she had gone to bed early while her two children were watching TV when she was awakened by gunshots at about 7.45. And then she heard her baby, Sandra, saying, I'm shot. I'm shot. Mama, I'm shot. saw her daughter bleeding on the floor and called 911. Emergency, res emergency responders could not save Sandra, who died at the scene. She had been shot once in her upper right flank. Detectives found four empty cases in the street in front of the house and four bullet holes in the house. Police officer responded to the scene, noticed someone standing in a nearby gangway who ran as soon as he saw the police officer. While looking for that suspect, the officer bumped into Barnes' ex-girlfriend, who said he was probably involved in the shooting. Yeah, she snitched. Uh-huh. That's what y'all want to call her? I thank God for you, young lady. She said she was parked on North 12th Street early when Barnes approached her wearing a he mad a mask and carrying an assault style rifle. She said he told her, Bitch, you lucky the kids are in the car. I was gonna fan you down. How could these people be so young and so cruel, man? This is what see this is what the hate the hate the hate produce. The only thing is you hate on yourself. You got no love, man. You got no love. And you hate yourself. And so now we gonna have to eat you, dude. We got, during a house-to-house -house search, detectives and tactical officers found Barnes and Odin in a house 
a couple blocks away on West Locust Street. They also found an 8K47 style pistol in the kitchen garbage can and an 8K47 rifle in the bedroom. Odin told detectives he saw Burns firing at an unknown target as they walked home from the store. He said that Barnes had asked him to keep his guns at Odin's house. In April 2011, Odin was sentenced to five years in prison plus five years of extended supervision after pleading guilty to an armed robbery in 2010. In September 2010, Barnes was sentenced to two and a half years in prison and five years of extended uh, supervision after he pleaded guilty to armed robbery from from March 2010. He was also wanted on a warrant on a charge of operating a vehicle without the owner's consent issued November 2nd when he was arrested on Sunday. Milwaukee police issued a statement Wednesday thanking the public for his help in finding Odin and Barnes and I'm so proud of y'all. This is what it's going to take because we can no longer afford these things in our community. We just can't do it. We already we already got to worry about weaponry and gunfire from outside the community. You think we can worry about this shit from within? This is what America is coming to? Everybody just eating on itself, eating on itself, putting yourself, everybody in prison, everybody hate each other. Right here in our own home, these United Snakes of America. This is the hate that hate produced. Bernice Parks has created a GoFundMe page to raise money for her daughter's memorial services. Uh, Sandra was an 8th grader at Keith Avenue School. And she is at least the 5th Milwaukee child that was fake fatally shot inside a home in the last 4 years by a gunfire that erupted outside. Two others were caught in the crossfire, one on a school playground, that's the one my grandson saw and witnessed, and the other in his own yard. Sandra had written about the violence that plagues many Milwaukee neighborhoods in an award-winning essay commemorating the life of the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, this is how she won an award, just like... The girl in Chicago, in the city in which I live, I hear and see examples of chaos almost every day. Little children are victims of senseless gunfire, she wrote. Many people have lost faith in America and its ability to be a living example of Dr. King's dream. I want to get through your letter, baby. Our truth. Sometimes I sit back and I have to escape from what I see. And here every day, I put my headphones on and I let the music take me away. I move to the beat and I try to think about life and what everything means. When I do, I come to the same conclusion. We are in a state of chaos. In the city in which I live, I hear and see examples of chaos almost every day. Little children are victims of senseless gun violence. There is too much black on black crime. As an African American, that makes me feel depressed. Many people have lost faith in America and its ability to be the living example of Dr. King's dream. The truth is faith and hope in what people can do has been lost in the poor choices we make. We shall overcome has been lost in the light of who we have become. So now, the real truth is we need to rewrite our own story so that faith and hope for a better tomorrow is not only within us, but we believe it to be. But we believe it and we put it into action. 
Our first truth is that we must start caring about each other. We need to be empathetic and try to walk in each other's shoes. We shall overcome when we begin to understand and accept each other. We shall overcome when we eliminate the negative and nasty comments people make about each other. We shall overcome when we love ourselves and the people around us. Then we become our brother's keeper. Our second truth is that we need to have purpose. We are the future generation, therefore we must have an education to make a positive difference in the world. We are the future leaders, but if we don't have an education, we will accomplish nothing. We will overcome when we use our education to make the world a better place. We will become the next president, law enforcement officers, teachers, doctors, lawyers, and lawmakers. We cannot continue to put the responsibility on other people. It is our responsibility as future leaders. We must not allow this the lies of violence, racism, and prejudice to be our truth. The truth begins with us. Instead of passing each other like ships in the night, we must fight until our truths stretch until the ends of the earth. And I wanted to read that baby's poem today because she won an award for that poem. And she lost her life at 13 years old for nothing. Just sitting in her house like kids are supposed to do. Then out in the streets doing something she wasn't supposed to do. She was in her house. And I was saying to you, Negroes, the black race can't afford you no more. We can't afford you no more. Ain't that what the brother said on the, so oh, oh, the soldier story? Can't afford you no more, man. We can't. Y'all kill babies. Y'all don't care who you shoot. You just shoot in your bad fucking aims. <sighs> you like what you hear? Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.